You, your two co-founders, uh, from big companies, I assume pretty doing well, Blizzard and the like, what gave you the courage, uh, the necessity that this was the time to strike out on your own? It was really just the right opportunity at the time. In Orange County, uh, up until then, the big company was Blizzard and was making PC games. And what we wanted to do was console games, those things that you play you know, on the TV set. Video game nowadays you know, obviously require a lot more people than, than we used to. It's not really just two people in a bedroom. Uh, we have 35 people here at Radio Dawn uh, working on a single one game. game. One game at a time. On a game that takes about two years, um, pre-production will be um, easily, you know, six to ten months depending on, you know, the size of the game. And then the rest of the time is production, uh, while well, the last few months of the project will be testing. Really just, just putting the game through its paces, trying to find all the issues that, you know, that come up and all the things that you didn't think about when you were designing the game in the first place. You bring in hardcore gamers to do that? We bring, yeah, people that are really good at playing games and also really good at, at finding problems. And developing not so much for teenagers, or yes, for teenagers, but for older people. We've done both. We've done our first game, Dexter, which was a very fuzzy, furry little creature um, that appealed a lot to, to kids. And our latest game, God of War, which is a very mature, very violent game, uh, which again is kind of both ends of the spectrum and both type of games that we like to play. What's the cutting edge thing that's really yeah, in yeah. demand now? Hard to find specifically uh, what kind of person. In our case, fortunately, it's pretty much every single position just because we're so picky with the type of people that we want. We want people that are good at what they do, fit well with the rest of the team here. I think you can't make something fun without having fun. And it's really what it comes down to. It's the people here, you know, don't really consider this as a job. I mean, even me personally, I've always said that this is what I do until I get a real job.